So in this video, we're going to take a look at the versioning within a Word document. So in front of me, I have a Word document that is saved in SharePoint. Now we can use SharePoint, Teams and OneDrive, and it all has the same functionality. So in here, I've opened up a file online. And I'm going to make a change to that document. I'm just going to remove that. Now, when we go to file, we've got version history here. And you can see that I've made some changes. If I go to this, this is when the document was first created. And then you can see I made some changes there. We've then got the current version and we will be able to see in a moment those changes that I have made. They haven't yet come through. If I wanted to go back to this version two minutes ago, you can see what it's done. I'm not editing the live document. This says back to document. I can save this as a copy or I can go back to this original one and save it out as a copy. Or I can restore it and make this the top level. So you can see the last time it was saved and it will save on a regular basis. You can, of course, um, you know, you, bring the save forward, but it does save as you go. So file and version history will give you my current version and it will be showing you any changes. You can turn those edits off. And while we are looking, if I go into the desktop app, I'm going to Go in to that document and I am going to have a look at the same thing via info and you have version history. You can also find it on the drop down from the file name. And you can go directly into the version history from there. It looks slightly different to the online one, but essentially is the same. So it started off with nothing and this is the different changes. I can turn on the edits and be able to track the changes effectively. And you can see the changes that have been made in this document. When you are working in previous layers, the yellow bar will change. It will tell you what version it is and whether you want to restore this version. And then when we work in the current version, we can continue to look at it when we return out of this document and back to the actual document itself. So remember when you're working in version history, it creates a read only view of your document.